हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक होप यू आर डूइंग गुड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर वन लेट्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू मैंशन द फंक्शन ऑफ द मेमोरी एंड इट्स मेजरमेंट यूनिट्स वी नो मेमोरी इज यूज टू स्टोर डेटा ड्यूरिंग प्रोसेसिंग हियर आर सम ऑफ द मेजरिंग यूनिट्स ऑफ द मेमोरी द स्मॉलेस्ट इज बाइट वन बाइट इज इक्वल्स टू एट बिट्स फॉलो दैट वी हैव के बी दैट इज किलो बाइट्स वन किलो बाइट इज इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर बाइट्स आफ्टर के बी द नेक्स्ट हायर यूनिट इज एम बी वन एम बी इज इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर किलो बाइट्स द नेक्स्ट हायर यूनिट इज जी बी दैट इज गीगा बाइट्स वन गीगा बाइट इज इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर मेगा बाइट्स एंड देर आर सम मोर यूनिट्स लाइक टी बी पी बी एक्सेट्रा दिस क्वेश्चन मे बी आस्क फॉर टू मार्क्स मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन विच वी नीड टू एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द कंप्यूटर हियर इज द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट दैट इज इनपुट डिवाइसेज इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर टेकिंग इनपुट द सेकेंड कंपोनेंट इज आउटपुट डिवाइस विच इज यूज फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग आउटपुट द थर्ड एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट इज सी पी यू वी नो दैट इट इज अ ब्रेन ऑफ द कंप्यूटर विच इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री यूनिट्स The first is control unit the second one is ALU and the third is registers the control unit is used for controlling and supervising the processing of the computer the second unit that is arithmetic and logic unit it is responsible for carrying out arithmetic and logical operations and the third one is register it is just like memory it is used to hold the important data during processing The next component of the computer is primary memory. It is used to hold instructions and data of the processing, but it holds temporarily. The last unit is secondary storage. It is also used for storing data and instructions, but it holds it permanently. So that was the explanation for this question. Hope you understood this. Here is the another important question. We need to write the difference between application software and the system software. System softwares are the softwares which are responsible for the smooth functioning of the computer. So it's a general purpose software whereas application softwares are specific purpose softwares. System softwares are responsible for managing different resources like memory and process management even it takes care of the security of the system. Whereas application softwares are designed to perform some specific task System software will be installed at the time of installation of the operating system but in case of application software if we need we will install it let's look at the sum of the example operating system is also a system software then we have language processor and some device drivers and here are some of the examples of the application software it can be word processor or any software related to games and media player based on application software you may get question in this format also where we need to tell the definition of the application software and the requirement of it we know software means it's a set of programs it helps the user to complete specific task even it can manipulate data and organize information effectively moving ahead to the next question what is the function of a bus We know bus is a physical connection between the different components of the motherboard so it carries data it also connects cpu to the other part of the system what's the next question write two types of cache memory we already know what is cache memory it is a memory which is placed between cpu and primary memory to compensate the speed between both of them There are two types of cache memory level 1 cache and level 2 cache we can also called it as a l1 cache and l2 cache l1 cache memory is placed inside cpu chip whereas l2 cache memory is placed between l1 cache memory and the primary memory so that was all about the cache memory hope you understood it let's look at the next question write the difference between sram and dram These are the two types of RAM. SRAM means static RAM and DRAM means dynamic RAM. Let's try to understand the difference between them. Static RAM stores the information in transistors whereas dynamic RAM stores it in a capacitors. 
एस रैम इज फास्टर कंपेर्ड टू डी रैम दैट्स वाई दे आर एक्सपेन्सिव टू बट डी रैम इज स्लोअर दैन द एस रैम दैट्स वाई इट इज चीपर एज एस रैम इज फास्टर इट इज यूज इन कैश मेमोरी बट डी रैम इज स्लोअर सो इट इज यूज इन मेन मेमोरीज बिकॉज ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ एस रैम इट इज यूज इन हाई परफॉर्मन्स एप्लीकेशन वेर एज डी रैम इज यूज इन जनरल पर्पज एप्लीकेशन्स here are some of the differences whichever you feel easy you can go ahead with it let's discuss some more question the next question is what is the need of ram how does it differ from rom we already have an idea that ram is used for storing data temporarily while processing then how it differs from rom in case of ram both read and write operations are allowed but rom only provides read operation RAM is an volatile memory means it stores data temporarily but ROM stores data permanently it is a non volatile memory in this way we discuss the need of RAM and how it differs from ROM there is one more question which is based on differentiation we need to tell the difference between compiler and the interpreter both are language translators but compiler converts whole high level program to the machine level at a time whereas interpreter converts it line by line the code which is compiled run faster but the interpreted code will run slower here are some of the languages like c c++ java which uses compilers whereas python and php uses interpreter so we understood that compiler converts the whole program to machine level language at a time whereas interpreter takes the program line by line and converts it to machine level language along with the theory questions which will be for 2 marks you may get some one mark questions in the form of fill in the blanks or mcqs so let's discuss some of them the first one is the smallest unit of computer memory is and we know it's a bit in the second question we need to arrange the units of the memory in the increasing order from the given option the smallest unit is gigabyte then comes terabyte followed by zettabyte we could see this sequence in the option b that's why the option b is the correct option let's move ahead to the next question which memory cannot store the data or information permanently from the given option we know it's ram ram doesn't store data permanently it stores it temporarily Here is another important question the dash memory is a special high speed memory storing the most recently accessed data it's a special memory so the special high speed memory is cache memory look at the next question we need to tell the full form of ipu it is input process output we follow these three steps to write some simple programs for problem solving Hope you are enjoying this session of solving the questions. Let's check out the next question. We have to identify the category. The category is system software, application software or it can be a programming tool. For the following softwares, the first is compiler, the second is assembler and the third one is Ubuntu. These three options come under the category of system software and text editor is a programming tool. Now, it's time to check out the last question. This defragmenter is an example of and it's an utility program. Hey, that's the wrap for today's video. These are some of the important questions from the chapter 1. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. In the next video, we will be discussing important questions from chapter 2. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay curious, stay healthy. I will see you in the next video.